And we are back. Episode number 11. We're gonna continue where we left off last time. But this time we're gonna go to... I really don't want to go down there. It's like cancer. But at the same time, it feels like something I'll have to do eventually. Here goes nothing. Alright, what is this? Oh, it's not poisonous? I'm shocked, to be honest. damage to me? Hmm. Oh, there's an item there. Last shard. Okay, that sounds very important. More mold. This is where the guy was. So I'm basically down here now. That's the shooty guy. That really falls off slow. So cleanse me fire. Not risk getting poisoned for nothing. Ugh. I don't know, I get a bad feeling. In the butt. I don't think I was gonna like manage to do that because I was way off, but I guess it kinda tracks. Uh, whenever I see an area like, any kind of area that looks like it's a bit Worse off, I always imagine the goddamn tree appearing. Holy shit, that's fast. Good thing it couldn't glide around the corner quick enough. Alright, so where do we go from here? Where does this actually lead me? What incredible shortcut did I just unlock? This dude just chilling with his feet over the edge, but they're not really dangling, it's weird. People died here, probably due to this guy. They make you focus on the other guy, but it's this guy that fucks you up. Then you do shit like that. I like the art, it lets you close the gap a bit quicker. Alrighty, what do we have here? Oh, I'm... I'm just here. Interesting. I was gonna fight that guy anyway. Wait, is there no guy? Ambush! There is a guy. Okay, that's a big smash. And that bird apparently is tracking me from God knows where. Dude, are you fucking kidding me? And I can't backstab him, of course I can't. And there's the fucking bird. And another big dude. No, thank you. Okay, 
This is such cancer. What? How did that bird even see me? It was so far away. And then where the fuck did that guy even come from? It just attracts enemies for no reason. Fighting that guy alone is tough enough with his spinny spinny bullshit, but then you get fucked from behind by 50 dudes and going down there is literally pointless. You might as well not go there. There was nothing useful down there. Wouldn't even call that a shortcut. Yeah, it might allow you to dodge that guy, maybe. But it still feels like not worth it unless you plan on running. Maybe if there's a boss fight somewhere around there, then maybe it's worth it. But other than that, I don't see that path being worth it at all, so don't even... I mean, go for it for those shitty ass items. We can drop there. I'll go the normal path. Kill everything in my freaking wake. Wait, fuck out. So, who wants the piece of me, huh? You want a piece of me? Where's your friend, huh? Is that the fucking bird that saw me? Get the fuck out of here. I had enough to level up. That is not a small loss. I actually smacked this guy behind me. Interesting. Now I have to pay attention to where that guy is, but I have no idea where that guy is. So I'm just gonna have to hope. He's not currently here, and he's not. Okay, we picked that up. Good, good. Now... Uh, fuck are you? But I've actually done decent damage to him. Oh boy. Uh, I'll see you later. Problematic, but not impossible. Oh. I'm getting so nervous because I know sooner or later I'm gonna run into an actual boss fight and I'm gonna fucking cry. Ain't gonna be pretty to watch, I'm sure of that. I feel like I'm approaching that. That's why I'm a bit on edge. And also I didn't sleep well. Which is certainly not gonna add to my incredible skill. Goddamn neighbors had to celebrate birthday in such a loud manner. They're grown ass people, they're not even like teenagers or something like that, which you would expect from teenagers to be more rowdy and loud. target and also fuck off what's the point of super loud music if you're going to shout over it then just make it slightly quieter and then you can talk like a person I never understood the fascination of extremely loud music where you can't even hear what the other person is talking to you if you don't have anything to converse then why even invite them to a birthday party it's silly I don't know Maybe I'm just weird. Oh, that's not what I want to walk in here. And I'm not under the effect of... Uh, I am. Okay, there's a statue somewhere. I must have missed it. Maybe it's above me. Which probably means a boss fight. Oh, no. It's something worse than a boss fight. A cancer guy. What was that move? Do you ever stop being annoying? What the fuck?
how the fuck did that there's nothing i hate more than enemies like this like how can you read his move when his moves are all so freaking sporadic and like my guy doesn't know how to track anything so that move is completely pointless against this guy I don't know, it just feels like it's hard to read what he's doing because all his moves look like some spinny shit. Like, how the fuck am I supposed to track what he's doing? Just randomly... ...hope that I get it right? That does not sound very encouraging. Okay, I'm no longer under the effect. No, I am still. Huh. I'd much rather prefer... ...a bone fight. What? A grace. But this just means it's probably a boss fight, and I better level up, so I don't lose my shit. Uh, I should have more health. Cannot hurt. Unless it's League of Legends and they do the percentage max HP damage, which in which case you're screwed. Dog! Oh, that does not sound good at all. Well, here goes nothing. Three attempts on camera, and then... Yeah, we'll see. I'm too nervous, like, I barely slept. I wink this night, I drank an energy drink and I'm just wired. It's not good. Uh, it just looks terrible, what the fuck is that? Oh, that's a, a cutscene. I'm screwed. This is the main guy here, I guess. A dog? Oh, horned and beast from higher sphere delivered. Is it Cerberus? Take root inside the tower sculptor keepers. And perched within, we beg of thee. Rise. Oh, that's the head. This looks more like a cat than a dog. But I mean, people call turtles dogs, so. The oh, that's a very Ends weird dog. <laughs> what the fuck am I witnessing? Is this a fucking Bloodborne boss? What the fuck? Oh, I'm so not ready. First actual boss fight. Fuck is that? I, I literally can't see what the fuck it's doing. Oh my god, that's fast. I can't see what the hell it's doing. It's got so much fucking nonsense on it. I do basically no damage. It's like impossible to see what the fuck this boss is doing. It's 
way too big. Can't see what the fuck he's doing when he's attacking. That seems legit. You know what I liked about non-DLC bosses? Lightning attacks. That was my favorite shit. I always said lightning attacks. I just love them. Random lightning strike, that is, not the... What the fuck is happening here? It's not a fucking inventing moves as we're fighting. What the fuck am I even watching? Huh? He's switching elements. I can't see what the hell he's doing. But we've got almost halfway there on the first attempt. I guess that's not terrible. Ugh. So probably... I don't know. I don't know what I'll put on. I can't even change any of these. Ah, let's just go ahead and go again. I don't know if I have any miracle that applies some kind of a fire damage. Two more times and then I'm cutting it. That's so fast, that's so fast, that's way too fast, I can't see shit. Is it attacking with its hand? I cannot see what the fuck it's attacking me with. Is it the hand or the head? Again, press dodge didn't work. Can't see shit because it's in the fucking corner. Might as well pick this up. I'm gonna die anyway. Okay, that has way more range than it should have. Can I heal? I can't see literally anything. It feels like... In this boss fight, you're best off... Reacting to nothing. Because what was that? Or maybe just not holding a camera. I don't know what's better because apparently you can't see anything this thing is doing. Like what am I seeing now? What's happening? That was apparently a grab move. They just absorbed my healing? What the hell happened? I don't know. Mysterious boss fight. That's what I would call this so far. I don't understand half of the shit he's doing. I can't see half of the shit he's doing because his freaking frame is so fucking large that the FOV is not big enough to see him completely.
So most of the time I just dodge and hope that I timed it well because I don't know how else I'm supposed to time it well. So let's see what we can do. What is he doing? He's doing that shit. And I tried to dodge that. I can't see anything. That was so much slower than the last time. I, I think I can like counter that attack in a way. That was a bad move for sure. I keep mentioning that they keep putting the same shit into the boss fights, which is annoying, which people have said it's annoying many million times, yet they keep doing that same shit, like... What the fuck, he started from a completely different angle this time around. Can I see what the fuck's happening? No, I cannot. Anything. Breath attack. Weird spinning jump attack. I don't even know what the fuck he's doing. Where is he gonna start his little shit? And he's still gonna attack one more time. I can't see. I can't, literally cannot see. When he's too close, I can't see anything he's doing. Hold on. That did not look like that attack to me. Kind of reminds me of the dancing dragons and shit. And here comes bullshit, right? Now the boss fight that was already terrible, in terms of visuals, is cluttered with random lightning effects. EPA. Now he switches twice. Feels like I have, like, almost no openings whatsoever, and his attacks are cancer. What is it? Why is that so slow all of a sudden? Why couldn't I attack there? I can't see anything. Oh boy. There he goes back to lightning, okay. What was that? Did you switch back to lightning? What the fuck am I looking at? Well, Alright, I need to get good, so... I'll see you when that happens, I suppose. Might take a while. I mean, it did take more than half of HP, so... I just have to be more patient, realize some of the patterns, and moves, and combos, and that's, I should be fine, hopefully.
So yeah, I'll see you then. I always come so close. Three hits from killing him and I just can't finish him. Because he keeps doing attack, 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 attack. And then he switches to ice or lightning. And you can't hit him there as easily because... Would you guess why? Because he constantly does AoE shit. And you can't see shit when you're close to him. So he's just fucking fighting nothing but air. No, I'm not gonna heal. I'd rather fucking die. Wow. It always looks like he's gonna be closer, but he isn't. Lightning? His favorite element. Because it's absolute bullshit and he knows it. He always does the same exact fucking attack pattern. Like dodging attacks? I like dodging attacks too, but it's not really in curriculum here. Let's switch to something else. It takes so much concentration to just follow the camera. And now he's gonna go lightning. Oh, he's gonna go ice, interesting. I'm shocked that he went lightning. Trying to center him towards the center of the arena, but... Okay, it's wind. Fuck! Oh, come on! Gotta be fucking kidding me. Die already, you piece of shit. Jesus fucking Christ. Yay! We're not doing that in this episode, fuck that. Overall thoughts on the boss? Not a bad boss overall. That's the worst part of it. It's, it's an actually pretty interesting boss. It switches elements, really interesting. Two things don't fucking work. Camera. Maybe you're supposed to turn it off in specific cases, but that's just annoying to deal with. If you don't turn off your camera like I did, like a stubborn piece of shit, 
you end up just looking into him 50% of the fucking time. And you're reacting based on, based on the first attack. You see the first attack and then you react based on, like, learned tame timing. Jesus, I can't even talk anymore. That's how long I've been fucking doing this. That I can't even fucking talk. You basically react with timing. That you learn over many, many failures. Because the camera just follows him wrong. And never, ever get into a corner with him. Because you can't see anything. Camera or no camera. His entire body is freaking taking over your screen. You can't see shit. So the best strategy is to avoid lightning as much as possible. Try to take as minimum damage then and then heal after that. Avoid ice if possible as much as possible. But fight him there if he does the grabby move. If he does the grabby move in any phase. Which is where he snaps the jaws and tries to grab you. That's the best time to attack. You dodge backwards. It's not gonna hit you. Then you hit him twice or thrice. Maybe the fast weapon maybe more times. And that's basically the strategy that I would recommend. With a big weapon. I don't know what it's like to fight with a smaller weapon. I assume it's a lot easier. Since you probably get more hits in. And you are more free to do hits. Because you, you can dodge sooner after. Because the big fucking swing takes a while. But alright. This is a bit of a pain in the ass. But we'll continue for now with no shards. We'll see how it goes. I was really tempted to use them. But for now no. But we'll see. Maybe I'll use them in the future. Well, now, goodbye.